All right, good day everyone. So, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today we'll be talking about finding the areas under the standard normal distribution curve. So this is all about the normal distribution curve or the standard normal distribution curve. I hope this one, uh, this is all about uh, from senior high school student who had this one during your, again, senior high school but we have to talk about finding the areas under the standard normal distribution curve again in this engineering data analysis okay so the standard normal distribution what do you mean by the standard normal distribution so the standard normal distribution is a normal distribution with a mean of zero and a standard deviation of one okay so this one, the mean of this one is zero and the standard normal distribution going here is one and of course the reflection or the semantic for this one, each standard deviation is one. So that is the definition, the defined, uh, the, the, defined, the definition of standard normal distribution. It is always that is mean is equal to zero and the standard deviation of one. How to find the areas under the standard normal distribution curve? So there's two steps that we need to follow. First one is we need to draw the normal distribution curve and shade the area. Okay. So next is find the appropriate figure in the procedure table and follow the directions given. So first step, we need to draw and the second one is appropriate procedure table table so this is the procedure table that we need to um, understand so finding the area under the standard normal distribution curve so so take note to the left of the z value look up the z value in the table and use the given area so for example if we're going to look for this z, z table value, value what is the area reflected on the given value is what we're going to write okay take note that this one here this one is a hundred percent so therefore between here this is 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 so this is one 100 percent or 1.0 the total for this one is 1.0 or the probability is 1.0 the maximum probability this is just um, symmetric to this one so this is our reflection so therefore this is a negative going here and this is positive going here so therefore the area from the mean to the left is uh, to the left is 0.5 and to the right is 0.5 the total probability is in a normal distribution curve is 100%. So if we're going to look for the Z value of the table, use the given area. If this is the two cases that we need to follow. So if, if this case would appear, so therefore the Z value that we're going to use is to use the given area. And this one, if this case would appear, so therefore this is negative. And next is to the right of the Z value. Look up the Z value and subtract the area from 1. If that is to the right of the Z, so they have to subtract it. 1 minus the area of the Z value area. Okay, so we need to subtract the area of the Z value in order for you to get the Z value. Okay, next is between two Z values. Look up the both Z values and subtract the corresponding areas so we need to subtract all the corresponding areas the area of this the area of the bigger probability or the chance minus this one so positive minus negative or in this case z2 minus z1 from left to right okay negative z1 minus z2 so therefore the area to get the area of this one we need to subtract it okay so take note of this procedure table. Again, the first step is draw the normal distribution curve, and the second one is apply the appropriate figure and procedure table. Follow the directions given. 
So let us have example number one. Find the area of the standard normal distribution curve at left 2, left z is equal to 2.09. So first is we need to uh, draw a standard normal distribution curve here. Okay, so this is... So if we assume that this one is z is equal to, if this is the zero, so therefore this is going to the right, so z is equal to 2.09. If this is to the left of the z, here to the left of the z, so in this case we need to, uh, we need to follow the steps or procedure number one. So what is procedure number one? What is written on the value for the z? is that is used the given area so 2.09 so if we're going to locate 2.09 here 2.09 so this is the area 2.09 here and here okay 2.09 9.987 9817 so therefore the area if we're going to have this one, the area is 0 0.9817 or 98.7%, 17%. So there, in this case, this is 98.17%. So the area to the left of the Z is the area, therefore the area to the left of Z, 2.09 is 98.17%. So that's how to use the area of the standard normal distribution curve to the left of the Z, 2.09. Next, we have your example number two. Find the area under the standard normal distribution curve to the right of the Z. So in order for us to understand the problem, so first we need to okay, draw a standard normal distribution curve. So since this is to the right of z, negative 1.2, if this is 0, so therefore we could assume or we have to put here z is equal to negative 1.14. So this is a value for our z here. So to the right of the Z, so this is in a case number two, to the right of the Z. So first we need to find the area of negative 1.14, then 1 minus the area of the Z in order for us to get the Z value for this one. Okay, so negative 1.14. Here. Okay, so the area for this z is equal to negative 1.14 is 0 0.1271. So 0 0.1271, based on the procedure table, we need to subtract it 1 minus the 1.271 in order for us to get the value for the z, which is this one. Okay. In order for us to find the area of the Z starting with to the right of the Z negative 1.14. So since this one, um, 0.1271 to the right of the Z, so all the areas going to the right, to the right is, this is 0. 8729. So going here, that is 87.29%. And this one is just 12.71% here. And but going to the right is 87.29%. So we could say that the area of the normal distribution to the right of the Z is. So 
87.29% is the area to the right of Z negative 1.40. Okay, so that's step number two. Next, we have here example number three. Find the area under the standard normal distribution curve between z is equal to 1.62 and z is equal to negative 1.35. So the first is we need to, okay, now have here z is equal to 1.35 and 0, and this is 1.62. So, between the standard normal distribution curve, so we have here 1.62, so we have to locate it 1.62 here, 1.62, okay, 1.62, this is 0.9474, so Z is equal to 1.62, that is 0.9474. Okay, 94.74. And negative 1.35, so negative 1.35 here. That is 0. Negative 1.35, the area is 0 0.0. 885. So first is in the procedure table, we need to subtract the area both here. Okay, from here, the area is 0 0.085, and from here, that it is we need to subtract the area. So in order for get to get the area between, subtract the area, the the value of the area of the both z values. So we have here. 0.9474 minus 0.0885. So the area of this is uh, 85, uh, 0.8589, or we have here 85.89%. So we can say that the area between this one, the area between z is equal to 1.62 and z is equal to negative 1.35 is 85.89%. So that's the area of between z is equal to 1.62 and negative 1.35. Okay, try this at home. Find the area under the standard normal distribution curve. A is equal to Z is equal to 0 and Z is equal to 98 and so on. So try this one at home and follow the procedures 1 and 2 and the procedure table.